one thing I like how you brought up South Walker and you brought up the South movement and it brought up the fact that how before the South movement, you know what I'm saying? Because if you if on some H Town shit, yeah, it wasn't cool to yeah. be dancing and doing. We come from my era, like I'm gonna say this, like you know, I grew up jamming Tupac and Biggie and all them, and then all the way to the Swish, you know, and Swish House. Like I was a Swish House head. Like I ain't wanna hear nothing if it wasn't Slim, you know, uh, Screw and Chop, and then it was you know Slim and all them. So. It's like coming from that, and then me wanting to rap. Like when I rap, I came. You know, I was jamming G's and them trying to give me some money. Right. So by the time I, you know, what I'm saying, like, started fucking with the music and watching the music scene, like it wasn't cool to be doing what they was doing. But I seen how passionate that nigga was. So in my mind, I'm like, shit, I don't give a fuck. What's cool? I'm going with what this nigga believe in. You see what I'm saying? Right. And then the nigga that's that 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 believe in some. Good enough to where they'll stand against the, you know what I'm saying? Stand up against what people don't think cool. Man, that nigga got a chance in this world. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? The That's the good thing about the South Walker and the South Moon. Mm -hmm. But I get what you're saying because I feel like, like, where you come from was it was different. But the thing that I want to point in on how when you said it was the movement that came before the South Movement. Because right now, 2020, nationwide, the most known movement is the South Movement. But... Coming from the school to switch house days, I feel like your movement. Yeah, I want before the South movement. Yeah, I want of a kind. Was that the movement? I want of a kind. Before yeah. I tell people, I'm one of a kind. So that's why it's hard to make my class. So it's hard to make my uh, description between the switch house, Slim Thug, all that movement to to me to South because I was like I was on the island by myself. And so I mean, you can go talk to a lot of people like. Too. Like, this a hub, this a place where it's known for niggas hustling and making money, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it was like, it wasn't no niggas here talk, like rapping no trap shit. You had, I mean, Slim and all them niggas was rapping trap shit, but it wasn't the same as like a nigga out here really getting money, niggas looking at it as a street nigga, dope boy type nigga rapping that shit. So, you know, when I came out and I started doing my thing, it was like a mixture between the Houston shit with the Atlanta shit and all the DJs backed me and when they backed me to me it's like it made a little it made a dough for all the newest the newer shit like cause niggas was out here so they we were still jamming zero and and slow out and bang and all they was still the DJs was still playing that in the club. You you feel like you the bridge to, to the new shit? Well I ain't, I ain't gonna say I'm a bridge. I'm gonna say I was so different and still to this day there's no another nigga in this city that nigga could say put on the way I put on in the streets that rap. It's not it's not one. Like I don't know not one. You know what I'm saying? That could say they put on the way they did in the streets and put on the way in the music that people respected or or, or saw. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the island. I'm telling you, there's no other nigga. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say like, but my passion for music wasn't there. So I feel like that that came in the play that Really kept me from being probably big as I could always be, but so what was your passion for? I'm a I'm a hustler, man. And as I say, I'm an alter ego type nigga. Like you got you got Boston George, you know. Well, I'm gonna say this: you got Baby, okay. and that's what my mama and my friends and niggas that know that that's the nigga that know how to play basketball, know how to bowl, the nigga know how to fish hunt. You know what I'm saying? All that old shit. And it, it, that's cool, you know what I'm saying? Then you got Bacon Soda Boston. That's the hustling ass nigga that was trying to think about when we recording this video, how huh? we gonna flip a coin, who pays this shit gonna go on and see who gonna get some money off of it. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Bacon Soda, I ain't not, not really in that sense, but I'm saying Bacon Soda Boston I always trying to get some money. You know what I'm saying? Everything that I do, I'm trying to do it to the max to see what I can get out of it. Mm -hmm. And then you got Big Bad Boston, and that's that nigga that done been shot, took an advantage of. That then been shot again, took an advantage of, try to look out for niggas, they burn, you know, that's that nigga that just to the brink of I it ain't no more ain't no more talking about it no more. You know what I'm saying? And that's the nigga that I be trying to hide away from. I don't even like that nigga. That nigga make you wake up in the morning and I wanna you know what I'm saying, be tripping. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Listening to to you say that? It made me feel like, and everything you said before about the waves of Houston and Houston music, you know, we always had our 
you know, I switch house, I slow down the banging and everything. But listen to you, I kind of feel like, you know, I, I said before I really been wanting to interview because I kind of feel like you're the leader of the Houston trap music wave. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Houston is, as we said before, Houston is hustle town. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see, the biggest thing with my situation is, like, I've been flew out by every label. I done been offered deals, you know what I'm saying? Several deals, you know what I'm saying? But the, my situation was during those times, I was making so much money in the streets that the money that they was talking about giving me didn't make no sense. And then I had talked with Slim, and Slim was like, man, bro, I'm going to tell you this. Whatever they going to advance you, you better take that as, is that going to make you straight? Because if that ain't going to make you straight, that's all you're going to get. I'm going to tell you they're going to say they ain't going to recruit nothing. Da, 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 da. You're going to be in debt to them. So when I was going in them labels, I was like, they offered me 250000 I'm like, shit, I had that in jury. You know what I'm saying? Still do. So it's like it didn't make sense. But now if I could go back, it would have made me famous. Hmm. And since I'm a hustler, I'd have turned the fame into money. You know what I'm saying? But there and then, you talking about 24, 25 years old, I already was driving Lamborghinis, my own shit that was paid for. You know what I'm saying? So hmm. that's the, it that's didn't make no much. 250 was like, yeah. It wasn't gonna do nothing for me. So, like I said, it's like my era of music. Like, like I said, I grew up jamming Jesus. So if you hear everybody's music, it, it's influenced. You know of what course, I'm saying? Of course. So I always was listening to trap niggas hustling their niggas. You know that's what motivated me to go get the money. So I feel like I was just one of the first niggas that stood on it and was able to make noise with it here for music yeah, so yeah, yeah. you know that's why it put me where you know what i'm saying where i'm at yeah that's I'm, why yeah. you no know, i tell people like a lot of people be like man why you ain't going for this to be this this that i do what i'm gonna be able to live with tomorrow you know what i'm saying so it's like i probably could go pay a songwriter or some or the biggest nigga to get on a song like do you feel I, like that's selling out though if you do it like that well it, it it's just like I don't believe, like, like, like once again, I'm going to stand on what I believe in. I believe if, if people don't accept me doing what I like to talk about, what I like to give, then it's going to be short-lived anyway. So, boom, you do that, it gets you da 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 and then, you know, but I just want to, whatever I put out, I want to represent now. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, don't even, it ain't even important to me to make it to be a, the biggest pop star no more because I'm good regardless the money a pop star or not. Mm -hmm. Like, I got it. Business. I got 18 wheelers. I got driving education schools. I got all type of other shit going on.